I'd like to talk about Albrecht Dürer's construction of the Pentagon and Hexagon. Albrecht Dürer is famous for working with three circles, one, two, three, and down here we're going to get a hexagon. And from the natural birth of the hexagon, he extracts the pentagon from the division of the circle into six. So um, as a line drawing, it would look, we're going to do this on the board. You can see that there's three circles. So this is a subject about the Trinity. We're going to show that the Vesica Pisces creates um, one of the side lengths of the hexagon. And from that, we get the pentagon. This is the reason why this is famous is because in sacred geometry, there were two tools that were used. In sacred geometry, we could construct the universe with two things, with the compass here. So with a set of compass, where we just created circles and having a fixed point here, we could draw our circle here. And this one's called a phi calipers because if this is eight, that's five. This is, if that's eight, that's 13. So these are calipers or compasses that created the circles of creation. So with the, with the compass, and the other thing we needed obviously was the set square. So with, the, with this L-shaped thing or the set square from which I could draw lines, I could create everything I wanted. So let's have a look. Um, so I'm going to draw my first circle. I'm going to draw the Vesica Pisces. So in the beginning, we have creation. So I'm going to put one circle here. So we've got to keep it still. So we'll call that one circle and there's the center point here. And um, I'm going to draw another circle. So this is the beginning of life creation. And then God created a copy of itself and created a separation. So here's another circle. So now we have the Vesica Pisces. Now what's important here is that we have a center point here. We know there's a center point there. Um, I'm going to draw this length here. So that length going through the almond shape, this is called the mandola, that distance there actually becomes um, the, the one length that doesn't change. So if we had our compass set on this distance from there to there, it happens also to be the radius. So that distance there is also the distance from here to there. So, so this is a trinity. We've got one, two, three. We've divided unity consciousness into three. One, two, three. And this is the critical length that with our compass, it doesn't change. So now I need to draw the third circle. So I'm going to draw a third circle that actually touches this point and that point here. So I need to put my, um, I need to put my, comp my circle here and without moving, I've created a third circle, right? I've created the third circle. And what's interesting now is that we can draw the hexagon because the circle, the radius of the circle actually divides perfectly into six. So we've got one, two, three, and and you'll see, and you'll see that this is also the same. So we, we've got our hexagon down here. So it's, it's a little bit rough diagram, but you can see we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. So a 10 year old child can draw this. This is not hard. But the question is, how do we create the pentagon from the hexagon? Because this is what DNA is all about. The, the, the molecular structure of DNA is based on pentagonal and hexagonal molecular structure. We call it pentahexa. Okay, so what I'm going to need is I'm going to need um, some extra lines. I need to know, I'm, I'll do it in yellow here, but I need to know this point here. So there's this, uh, we need to know that top point there I've done in yellow and I'm going to have to draw a line going, um, was, I'm going to have to draw a line going from here. Um, I, I want to be able to hit that circle. So I've got one and I've, again from here I want to go through that point and touch another point there.
and we so so this is called Dury's construction of the five pointed star so I'm gonna do it in white now So the pentagon, so the, I'm going to go over, this is the pentagon here, and it goes to this point here. And to this point here. And we do know where the top, just by knowing this distance, that distance, and that distance, we know that they converge around here. So I can go one, So now you can see one, two, three, four, five. This is quite a famous diagram because we, in this whole diagram, we didn't change the radius of the circle. The, the circle of one unit was fixed. And this is what they call a very elegant design. It's called a mathematical geometrical plum in the sense that by not changing the circle, the radius of our circle, we not only got this hexagon and the pentagon, we also got um, a triangle in here. There's a triangle there. And we've also got a square. So from here, we've also got the square. So this trinity of three circles created the three, the four, the five, and the six. It's the key to all universal creation.